This is a combination of a hotbed and a cold frame. Think of these as miniature greenhouses. The hotbed does have heat within it, and in this case, it's electric heat. The cold frame does not, and therefore, I always start my plants over in a hotbed, but when they're ready to be hardened off, just before they're transplanted, they get moved to the cold frame. That gets them toughened up enough that when they go outside, they're not going to undergo any shock due to the change in environment. For I don't want it to get too cold in the hotbed, nor too hot in either one. So I need to have a way of controlling that temperature. And so what a lot of people do now is use an automatic vent opener. And as the temperature rises, the gas inside the cylinder heats up. And as it heats up, it pushes this rod further out. That's actually what lifts that cover. Early in the season, all I'll use is just a watering can. You can water once and it's gonna last maybe three or four days. Later in the season, I'll actually use an automatic watering method. As you'll notice here, where we have these tubes, those have very small holes in them that allow them to drip water onto the material that you see here. This is called a capillary mat and it holds a lot of water and it holds it in such a way that it can release it to the bottom of these containers. I like that later in the season because it really eliminates any problems you may have with disease. That foliage never gets wet. It also allows me to totally automate this so that if I need to water twice a day, I can do that automatically without having to be here. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website.